Happy Hour at Joey Roman's Restaurant and Bar. The guy at the end of the bar had been drinking vodka martinis for two hours, swiveled his stool as if making a difficult decision, and had just decided to act. Bathroom break, I thought. But he tottered onto the riser in the corner, dropped his ass down on the bench, and bent into the yellowing keyboard of the scarred piano balanced near the edge. It doesn't matter what he played. It could have been any old standard. But the thing is, his delicate interpretation, how everyone stopped talking to listen for five minutes or so before he collapsed into a discordant heap, and then how most looked away and resumed conversations, ordered another round, twirled spaghetti on a fork. It all seemed part of the act, nothing to see here, and when in Roma's, I've always wanted to be that stranger who materializes in a bar, has a few cocktails among locals, then sits down before the altar of all sad melody, <clears throat> of all sad melodies, cracks his stiff knuckles, and begins to play. I cut out the last two lines of the poem. Um, yeah. I do that. All my other books have like edits, so you know, who was it? Valerie. Paul Valerie said the poem is never finished, it's only abandoned. That so I, I continue to edit poems. <laughs> and, yeah. So I'll leave you with one last poem. Um, so I'm on the road a lot, um, giving readings and such, and while my wife's at home. And you know, out there on the road, there st things start looking good. Certain things start. Hmm. And, uh, no, not that. <laughs> this guy's got dirty months. No. All you can eat Chinese buffets. My wife won't let me go. When I'm on the road and I see one, mm. dinner at the walk and roll buffet. Guilty is how I feel on the road. Floozies sink to me from the hotel's lobby bar. Bluesies seem everywhere, multiplying as if I travel a hall of mirrors. But across the service road is all I can eat. Watch me, brave rush hour traffic, and remain faithful to you. A Chinese buffet is where the overweight take their last meals. It worries me to death that I'm here. Try not to stare. Consider instead the grease congealed on your china. Every trip to the trough requires another clean plate. Signs are hung to remind you the dishes are scratched. Decorative rims have faded with the washing. A Chinese buffet is a whorehouse. <laughs> Still, fat people arrive. The hostess loses her face. She whispers in her daughter's ear, tell them in back more Kung Pao, more beef on a stick. She dreams thousands of deep fryers orbiting Earth, watches them glisten like stars. The fat people change and grow unearthly, unaffected by gravity. They gracefully maneuver space around steam tables, steel serving spoons held daintily in their swollen hands. Walk music clatters through the tiny kitchen window. She hates this dying from hunger. She hates how her face changes when she sees them at the door, the fat ones, the sad ones. How the restaurant loses money on them. How after eating their weight in egg rolls, they rise, coke bloated angels. Generous tips blazing the red tablecloths, as if generosity could make up the difference, as if guilt was a toll road and here I paid. So good night. There's ice cream on a chubby boy's shirt. He's smiling, and his oversized eyes are absurdly beautiful. I've given in my love to desire. 
so that I might die. That in your arms.